Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel, Dev Chanel's 40s World, where we do reviews. The review we're going to be doing today is on the girls' cruise, Little Kim, Maya, and Chili's little show, okay? That's been definitely pumping me through, but losing steam with each coming episode, okay? Basically what I'm saying is getting dry. Now I thought I was going to see Carnival, Carnival this uh, episode, but they're putting it off to the next episode. So I guess we're going to be doing episode 7 where they actually get to film the whole festival of Carnival. So that's definitely not in this particular episode, which is episode 6, season 1. Okay. When we first go on, we be, we're talking, they're showing Tiffany, she's having a conversation with her boyfriend, and she's giving us a little spiel on how they met. They met at Starbucks, go figure, nothing really to be excited about. She went and told Lil' Kim about it, and it became like magic. Poof, they were together. Shortly after, I guess he asked her to marry him. All right. They got pretty big. She's talking on social media. She's talking to her people, okay, about being better, being more, uplifting. She's been a motivator to her followers or fans or however you want to view her people on social media. So she's pretty much giving them, um, what do you call it, a follow-up on how she's doing and feeling, uh, jet-setting, sailing on the Caribbean, okay? Ah, and she's giving him a little spiel about being bullied, and her mother's a pastor, didn't know that, and uh, she had low self-esteem, but she's working on that, yes, she's working on that, uh, then we got the crew, they finally arrived in Trinidad, woohoo, okay, uh, but no really sightseeing going on, much to do about anything, it's like stuff was just propped up, like if you go to a garden festival, you have people in their little uh vendors uh booth and you go and see if you want to buy some of their local goods for this that and third and Tobias called himself showing um Kim Kimberly or we'll say little Kim the ropes around there. So he was pretty much following her. They Rome was more so the event planner again and the um what do you call it? The, it's not a chauffeur, but uh, I, what do you call those people when they're, it's not an instructor, but it's like a person who takes you around and shows you everything. A host, I guess, for lack of a better word. So he's pretty much showing them Trinidad. That's his hometown. That's his country. And he repping, honey. He's uh, sashaying in the street, doing limbo dances, making the women go in limbo and, and all this kind of stuff. And he there he's explaining to them about the big tall man and stilts and where that all derives from, giving them a back history story on the culture of Trinidad. They're in the streets and they're going to the different vendor booths. They're tasting uh stuff that look like tacos or burritos to me. But Tobias, the chef on the boat, wasn't too pleased. He's like, Well, I've had better, you know, kinda like tooting his nose up at it like oh yeah it ain't nothing but curry and all this stuff in there so uh he wasn't impressed but again uh chili is kind of liking this side to rome because he's be being a little bit more carefree he's being uh flowing with i guess nature and just letting everything just hang out nothing's like proposition to where he's rehearsed he's just actually out there you know smelling the air getting into the people interacting with his people and just trying to be a good host okay and uh that's about it on that pretty much scene uh then you know Shep he goes in and kind of like pulls Lil' Kim away and wants to have his alone time with her. But you got Chili over there. She peeping games saying, look at Tobias trying to uh, fill up on um, Lil' Kim. Trying to get his Mac on. You know, she noticing her. I'm like, girl, stop. Now when that shoe is on the other foot, 
and they were teasing you about little Roman Rome trying to throw some Mac at you. You like, oh no, oh no, we friends. But look, Kim, you know, Kim, no, she recognized what a fella doing. She loving it, just like most women. They love the attention, and Tobias want to get her attention and buy her little trinkets that she don't have to come out of her pocket. That's cool too. But then Rome goes on and pretty much tells them about Juve, and Juve is mostly done in the, oh, how they call it, the witching hour, 3 o'clock, 8 a.m., uh, and they're supposed to be out, and Chili's saying, yeah, I heard about that. That's like they said, the devilish side come out of you, you know, and I don't know if I want that, that side to come out. Like, what you going to be doing at 3 in the morning? That's a wicked hour anyway. So for those who partake in Carnival, go ahead, do your thing. For those who don't, we be in the bed sleep. Okay? I'm at the ladder. I be in the bed sleep. Y'all can have all that other kind of stuff. If it ain't done in the light, I can't do it in the dark. Okay? So um that pretty much was it. It was kind of boring, y'all. But I'm trying to give you what I got. So I just go to my main points, really. We're gonna talk about shelf. Chef trying to mac with little Kim. And you know, like I said, Chili didn't notice it and, and all that. And and um she was just trying to like, mm, look at him go. I mean, yeah, that's how men and women get. You know, he's in tree with little Kim. He only have a little set amount of time to try to put his interest out to her. But Kim wants a man that got finance, power, prestige, you know, take her out. Uh, of where she's at, put her in a better situation. Um, she thought she was getting that with her baby's dad, but that didn't work out. We see that didn't work out for little Kim. So she's just having fun. She's having, she's enjoying life. She's basically like, ooh, you know, I like you as a friend. We can hang out. We can chill, but. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is gonna get getting all up on me. And I'm about to just die with his best friend's friend trying to come at me. Yeah, Kim don't really want to say it to him like that, but she she thinking it. Her and Chile on the same boat, same frame of mind, same train of thought. They want a man with power, prestige, position, and they got to look good. They got to be easy on the eyes, in other words. So, and I fought Lil' Kim and Chili for that. I mean, they've been saying they just want a friend. But that, you know, they need to, like, brush them on off to the, you know, the, 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 you know brush them on off. Like, you're trying to get some dirt out your house or you're trying to get some leaves off your porch. Just, you know, tell them in a nice way. Look, I'm not interested. I'm here if you want to groove with us and this, that, and the third, but just know it ain't nothing. You know, just how men do women sometimes. And I know women do men the same way, but generalized speaking, men get the brunt of everything where they try to toss women aside after they've been finished getting what they wanted from them or... The situation is just like, we're having fun at this time right now, but I'm not going to be with you five minutes from now or ten minutes from now. I'm going to move on to the next shit. Can you dig it? And that's pretty much what Kim and uh, Chili should have went on and told them, because they seem like two good stand-up brothers, you know what I'm saying, that can settle down and be monogamous with one chick. That's the, that, you know, that's what I get from them if they met that right one. You can say that about any man or any woman then. But to even think about trying to be on this boat, you're filming, everything looks flashy and, and you think these women got money or they may think these guys are thinking that they got money, but they probably didn't paycheck to paycheck like the rest of us, okay? Everything that shines, glitters, gold, ain't gold. Everything that glitters and shine ain't gold. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it just may be uh played it <laughs> go played it okay you know what i'm saying trying to fake the funk until you do better but we all know that uh this is kind of like a start over for la kim and she definitely you know gets my uh friendship award she's shown me definitely that she has a heart of gold and if you with her she down with you like both flat tires so 
If you in Kim's little boat, like Char, little Charlie and Tiffany, stay friends with her. Because, you know, she has definitely said and having mixed mixed words about it, she does have a very small circle. So when she do have good people around her that know they're down with her, she ain't going to let them go. She ain't going to let them go. I don't place a house. They're going to be let go from her. Go out, take her home, honey. And that's pretty much pretty much how it is. And V and V Simone, they got a real good tight friendship, too. My is kind of like the odd one out. I don't see her with anybody. And she tries to play this role. And I've been trying to be nice with Maya. But, you know, she be, I don't know, she trying to be a little counselor to pretty V instead of just listening to what V is telling her. You know what I'm saying? And just opening up and get some of her insecurities out on the table. Not that Pretty V going to use them against her and any of that, but just to trust people. And that's what Maya hasn't gotten yet. And I think the crew's going to be done sailed on to another destination, leaving her behind. And a new fresh cast have been placed on Lil' Kim's deck. Because she, she just not, I don't know, she just, to me, me looking at her for six episodes, she just don't seem genuine. You know, and maybe that's something she's going to have to go to counseling to. Or maybe she's just not that kind of person. She with you when she with you. But when she with another set of people, she don't know you. <laughs> and that's just the tease I get from Miss Maya. But moving on from there, we got, uh, uh, let me see. We got the best friend proposal. Well, let's go back. We got Chili talking about she like being by herself. She likes to be in her own space. You know, I don't know. I think Chili just... She's just afraid to get hurt. She's getting older. She's looking at that, that she hadn't really accomplished a lot of things in her life that she probably wanted to accomplish. You know, her main focus is trying to be a good mom to her son, which, girl, you know, did that thing. He's a grown man now, a young grown man. So he has to go and experience life and make things right for himself. So you can see everything that grows through him that's good. You know you he got it from you and your upbringing, upbringing of him. So you continue to be in your zen, but hopefully you don't miss the boat on getting someone in your life, especially because you got all these different uh, check marks. They have to be checked off. You ain't keeping them both. So we just going to stop right there. But then we go on to the proposal thing. Honey, you got pretty Tiffany out there acting like a little lesbian for a minute. She gave me the lesbian tease. But since they already say that, you know, most people think they are lesbians, both Tiffany and Kim, how they are so tightly knit together like a glove in hand, a glove in hand. But she don't care and Kim don't care. But she says she has to honor her um, sister and Kim and ask her in a special way, would she be her maid of honor? And of course, Charlie helps her out. Yes, and he enlists the other members on the boat to help out and celebrate and, and get this fantastic thing going of a surprise with a little ambiance and all of that spectacular stuff. So uh, Miss Tiffany can be on one knee <laughs> and propose to her bestie friend, Miss Kim. I like y'all just too much. That's over the top. It was too cute. But hey. Please, let's not start a trend. Please, let's not start it as a trend. Maybe it's a, a private joke between her and Lil' Kim, but it shouldn't be trending. Okay, let's not see this again. All right, then we got uh, Rome. He's trying to mac on Chili as he's trying to help her get her situation together with this little surprise they're trying to throw for Lil' Kim. Okay, and I'm like, Rome, the girl don't want you. <laughs> Back up off the driveway, the boat, however you trying to press on the gas to get this lady to thinking that you can win her over. No wrong. You are Trinidadian. You're in the Caribbean. Miss um, Chile is not going to be a residence in the Caribbean. And she just don't see it for you, boo. It's six episodes in, okay, on season one. When are you going to catch that email, that text, that just slapped in the head that somebody came up and, and wet their hands and just popped you in the pop back, back of your head to help you understand Chili is not the one. <laughs> Unless you become a billionaire overnight, okay, and you plan on coming to the States with her, preferable in Atlanta, 
Oh, Florida, I'm sure she can commute then, because you definitely, her eye candy, her type of, of a beautiful man, got a beautiful body, got a beautiful spirit about yourself, but she just can't take that you're over there and she's over here, okay? It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work, man. It ain't going to work, okay? But that's pretty much all I had. I was waiting for the corner bell to get down, for them to be booty shaking and all these them boring costumes and just doing a little dance and stuff, but it wasn't on this particular episode. They're giving us a seventh episode, guys. And it, I'm telling you, it started off and it was pressing gas. We were sailing through the ocean, but now I'm just tired of being on the boat with them. I need to be on land. I need to be back in the States. Okay? So I need this whole thing to wind up or give me some more drama to deal with. But all this happy, 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 happy. It's good. It's good. It, it does its effect, but now we have to get back to real life and real issues, okay? But that's all I had, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll be back for episode seven. Uh, maybe they gave her a 10 episodes spread on this first season. I thought I was just going to stop at five, but it's made it. Yes, it has made it to one more take, okay? And hopefully that's it, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be a season two with another whole crew. And that would be nice to see. Yes, it would. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you again for another video uh, tomorrow. Good night.